There has been a lot of speculations and rumors that Panasonic will be releasing a new mirrorless camera in the first quarter of 2023. These speculations go as far as to state that this new mirrorless camera will be the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. Now in this video I will be giving my opinion based on the rumors that I've read on their blog posts, videos from other creators on YouTube, so on and so forth on what I believe the new camera will be and some of the basic specs that we can look forward to seeing from this new camera from Panasonic Lumix. Stay tuned. One of the main reasons a lot of persons believe that this new camera will be a full frame and the Lumix S5 Mark II is due to the fact that the Lumix S5 was released all the way back in 2020 and the first S series of full frame cameras from Panasonic were released in 2019. So it has been 2-3 years since Panasonic released their S series of cameras and they are due a new full frame camera to keep up with the competition from Sony, Nikon and Canon. And that's why a lot of persons are saying that it will be the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. Another fact that we can use to confirm this is the fact that they released the Lumix G86 earlier this year and that was a Micro Four Third camera as well as the GH5 Mark II which was released little earlier before the GH6. I don't think they will be dropping any Micro Four Third camera for now until they release a new full frame mirrorless camera to keep up with the competition. The Panasonic Lumix S5 was without a doubt a phenomenal camera, especially for the price. For $2,000, you're getting a full frame mirrorless camera body along with a kit lens, the 20 to 60 millimeter kit lens that comes with the camera, which is superb for both photography and videography if you don't have any L mount lenses as yet. This camera records 4K up to 60 frames per second internally, even though there's a slight crop at 50 and 60 frames per second. But this is in 10 bit color. You get the full frame, no crop at 24 and 30 frames per second in 4K resolution coming from from this $2,000 camera. You also get up to 180 frames per second in full HD from the Lumix S5. So I can imagine what the S5 Mark II will pack. I'm expecting up to 6K being recorded internally because on the Lumix S5 version 1 currently, you can record, I think it is 5.2 or 6K. I'll leave some wording up here. 5.2 or 6K using the Atomos Ninja 5 and you can also record raw video output with the Ninja 5 or the Blackmagic monitor. You can get Blackmagic raw from the Lumix S5. That is phenomenal and this camera is 10 bit. So compared to other cameras within that spec range, the Lumix S5 is amazing for the price, so I can imagine what the Lumix S5 Mark II will have in store for us Panasonic shooters and also persons looking to try out new cameras, whether it is for photography or video production. Because the Lumix S5 is a hybrid camera, 24 megapixels, that's perfect for photos and videos. Now if you're still on the video, a sub to the channel would be amazing, so I can continue making amazing stuff like these for you guys. Now let us continue with talking about the Lumix S5 Mark II specs and rumors. Now for the Lumix S5 Mark II, I'd expect that this camera, as I said before, records up to 6K internally. 8K would be amazing if that could be done internally like the Canon EOS R5. But let's not jump the guns because 8K is not really a thing as yet and we want Panasonic to keep the Lumix S lineup of cameras, especially the S5 Mark II, an affordable camera for both photographers and videographers. So we don't want to maybe cram too much into the camera where the price would get out of hand. So I would like up to 6K maybe. I would also like a full HDMI port on the Lumix S5 Mark II because that tiny little HDMI port tends to break your cables easier than it would with a full HDMI port. Another thing I would like on the Lumix S5 Mark II is uh, either a bigger battery or the 
camera itself being able to utilize the battery more efficient if they were not going to change the battery because if they don't change the battery I, I'd love that as well because I can use the old batteries from my S5 in the S5 Mark II so that would be amazing another thing a game changer I am looking for from the Lumix S5 Mark II is phase detection autofocus because Panasonic uses contrast detection autofocus and even though it is accurate it is not the fastest autofocus system compared to the competition with Canon and Sony which are both kind of superior in the autofocus environment so Panasonic throw some phase detection autofocus in there I saw you guys post a video on Instagram on the Lumix page you guys can go check it out we are there teasing phase and they're launching something on January 4 2023 so that may be the date when we can expect the announcement of the Lumix S5 Mark II so it seems as if we will be getting phase detection on our Lumix cameras after all and Panasonic was also talking about that they developed a new phase detection system for their cameras it wasn't for their mirrorless hybrid cameras such as the S5 but they did it for their they did it for these cameras so I'm hoping they can do it for the S5 Mark II as well another thing I would love for Lumix to add to the S5 Mark II is to make the kit lens for the S5 Mark II have a wider lower end focal lens so you know the S5 came with the 20 to 60 maybe for the S5 Mark II you may have a 18 to 55 a 16 to something something a wider lower focal length for the kit lens that that would be amazing i could just switch that lens on my s5 and switch the 20 to 60 on the s5 mark ii if that's the case because we know panasonic it's l mount so we can use all our l mount lenses on l mount bodies so yeah another thing i would love is if panasonic used uhf cards for both slots but also made them hybrid to use regular sd cards so we would want both slot one and two to be uhf compatible instead of just slot one alone being uhf compatible and the other slot being for regular sd cards make both slots uhf and allow them to use regular sd cards if the card is not an uhf card i would appreciate that Panasonic so that's it for this video and my opinion on what the Lumix S5 Mark II will entail and what I hope it entails and in the next video I will go around the internet and blogs and videos and try to grab some specific specifications for what the new camera will entail guys remember to hit that subscribe button so I can continue making videos like these I am Siobhan Beckford Stay tuned for the next video for the specs and signing out.